display certain teams. If a team's going to pressure, you might want Raya. If you want shot stoppers, you might want Ramsdale. Who's to say? But you need competitiveness to get the best. And it was always in the outfield position, so why would it be different in goal? But Peter Schmeichel said there has to be a recognised goalkeeper in terms of number one and a recognisable number two. So they know their positions in the squad and the team. Goalkeeper's different in that respect. Has that now gone out the window? Manish, anybody that's played with goalkeepers knows they're very, very different. <laughs> yeah, um, I hear that all the time. So um, I understand what Peter's saying, and back in the day that was the case. But Karen makes a really good point. David Raya is an amazing goalkeeper. His, his ability with his feet is top four goalkeeper all day, and that's why he's there. Mm. Um, maybe Ramza had a little blip towards the end of last season, a mm. tiny one. I think everybody respects he's done an amazing job, yeah. and he's a brilliant goalkeeper. But why should there not be competition? You know, the centre forwards have competition. If I play rubbish, Sir Alex played someone else every time. Defenders is the same, so it should be the same with the goalkeeper. Yeah. Um, and, and, and I think it's going to bode the club well. I, I, I think he's a top four goalkeeper. I'm just amazed Chelsea didn't go in for him. I think they, they're the ones that needed him badly. Yeah. OK, so Arsenal take on Crystal Palace. Arsenal looking to bridge that five point gap on City from last season. Uh, they kicked off with a 2 1 win over Forest, which was a curious game. For 75 minutes, they were in total control, but then they almost threw it away. Yeah, I mean, Forrest, very good on the counter-attack. Um, like you said, they dominate the game, and this is a ridiculous bit of skill there oh, from Martinelli. Oh, Martinelli. Um, finish is great as well. I thought, you know, two magic moments from wide players, and this is a brilliant finish. As soon as he hits it, it's only going in one. It's in the back of the net. No, five goalkeepers couldn't stop that, but this is the threat on the counter-attack, isn't it, where they were good? Yeah, I mean, there's not many players quicker than Alanga and Awan Yi in, in, in that space. I mean, Saka, go back to that goal, he is amazing. Martinelli, it was like, was a one-man wrecking crew yeah. going forward and defensively. Uh, Deccan Rice, I thought, played pretty well, a lot better than uh, the Community Shield, but they looked a little bit vulnerable defensively, and whether that's because maybe some of the little new partnerships. Mm. Uh, obviously, Timber going out with the ACL injury, that's a big blow to them. But I think I think I'll have to be a little bit worried. Kind of top of the pitch, they were great. Defensively, they looked a little bit. They didn't look as, as solid as we would have thought with the new additions. Yeah. Let's hear what Wrighty does think about that. <laughs> he's in Australia at the moment, but he is listening and now has his chance to to have a comeback to that. Don't Do you hit think me! That don't hit me! Caicedo going to Chelsea nudges them ahead of mm -hmm. Arsenal, who themselves have spent a lot of money on on bringing in Declan Rice. Um, no, it, it, it'd be a great... It's going to be a great move for Caicedo. Um, for me, especially alongside Enzo. I think Enzo and Caicedo will be, like Darren just mentioned, the, 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 um, the two in front of the defence that will solidify it a bit. Um, but in respect of um, them being the challenge, I, I have to agree with Tim on who's going to score the goals for them. But I think Chelsea will be in and around it. But I do feel that Arsenal will still be still be up there, without a shadow of a doubt. What do you make of this huge market now for defensive midfielders? Well, I think that what is shown when you look at um, teams and how they're trying to defend, how important it is to have that, that defensive player in front of the, you know, the back four there, you know, and, and, and when you haven't got it, how much that player is missed. I think that, you know, you look at someone like Caicedo in uh, Brighton's midfield and how brilliant he done and how good their defensive record was. I think the same, you probably have to say, even with, with Arsenal, you miss somebody like Thomas Partey. Like that defensive midfielder does so much for the team in not only breaking things up, but it's the way that they can progress the ball as well. Um, you know, Declan Rice was playing. Look, at he's gone... You know, it's just Lavia we're seeing now, which is really exciting for him, obviously. You know, it's just a position that if you are playing that brand, that kind of football with a defensive midfielder, then he's, he becomes, like Tim says, one of the, the pivotal players. Speeds it up, slows it down, breaks the game up, how he progresses the ball. It's a very, very important player in the system now. Obviously, the goal scorer, I still believe, will always be, as Darren, I'm sure, will, <laughs> um, will, will uh, agree, will always be the most important. Um, but like that player, now the number six, the defensive holding midfielder, has become as we can see, highly sought after and needed. Right, right. I don't necessarily disagree with you about the, the ability of Arsenal to score goals because we've seen that they can step up mm. and take responsibility. What, what I just wonder is, in the same way that I was talking about those partnerships in front of defence, mm. I would have thought that it would have been Rice 
and party in front of that back four as a very stable mm -hmm. two and then maybe Odegaard in front of those because we know about his ability to thread passes through to the offensive uh, to, to the striker or out to the wide areas is it not that cut and dried or do you think that it could be a bit more uh, fluid. Uh, fluid. Yeah. That's the word I'm. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, think that, I think that he could, he could, he could do both of those. <laughs> he could do, he could probably do both of those scenarios because you can either have Rice just in front with, with Erdegaard, and, and who's the other one? And one other. Um, who can it be? I'm trying to think. So you can have Thomas Party as the five, and you can have Erdegaard and Rice as like eights and you can even have Erdogan as a 10 or you can have the two of them and Erdogan in front of them. You know, I think that works with Party, Rice and Erdogan in front there. That's how I think that can work. Or even if Party stays, Declan Rice can go and get involved like we've seen him do as well in respect of um, the number eight. So I think that can be really quite fluid in there, but then it will depend on, um, on the fitness of Party. It's, it's really interesting.